tragedy you know we've heard that that cry where is God or where was God I can remember the day it was a beautiful day a lot of people remember it September 11 2001 is just a really beautiful kind of fall day we had just seen on TV um, just with everybody else, that you know, planes had flown into the World Trade Center. The FAA brought up a conference with us and several other uh, agencies, and um, they confirmed, to the best of their information, that it appeared to be a terrorist attack. And they also said, because they had us in the Pentagon on the line at that point, that there was another aircraft they were tracking that had been apparently hijacked. I was coming from South Arlington here to the Chancery Building in North Arlington and the flight that crashed into the Pentagon flew directly over me. Living in Crystal City, you get used to planes flying because they're landing and taking off from the airport, but that plane was on a route that you don't normally hear a plane and it was low. June 9th was my ordination. And this is September 11th, so just yeah, just three months and two days after my ordination. I recall having being in a standstill traffic jam right in front of the Pentagon. I remember putting my hands to my head. Um, it was about 9:35, and then without warning, the plane just came right over the tops of our, of our cars, came in very low. I mean, just kind of. I think I more or less just heard the sound, maybe the vibrations. Turned to my right just to see it uh, go into the building. Just crash um, and simply disappear into the building. It was easy enough to get out of my car um, and grab my, my, um, my prayer of the sick book, my purple stole, and then the, uh, the, oil, the holy oils for anointing, and just to get out of the car and go across that one lane of traffic and just go over the guardrail. I was just um, able to be with one after another of the just handful of injured people who got out uh, of the building. The phrase that kept coming to my mind was, Jesus is with you. Uh, that, that was the phrase I kept saying to them one after another, Jesus is with you. And I know more, more than once people responded affirmatively, yes, yes. I just knew I was meant to be there putting my hands a moment before, like, I'm late for this Arlington National Cemetery. As soon as it happened, I was like, I'm not meant to be there at all. This, this, is, this is where I'm meant to be. On the morning of 9-11, I was at Our Lady of Lords Church. I was in the rectory. Our Lady of Lords is in Arlington on 23rd Street, so not very far, perhaps uh, a mile and a half from the Pentagon. I was watching the television of the Twin Towers and uh, just we were astounded by what was happening and, and I heard an explosion. Uh, but it, from my perspective, I wasn't sure what that was. Uh, I, th I thought it could have been a transformer or something, we're, we're, I guess because of the distance. But then we saw on the news that the Pentagon had been hit. We were just uncertain what to do and then I finally decided that I had to go down there. People were in need, I had to go. If there were some tragedy, a sunken ship or a fire or something, you know, priests 
try to be there. People just needed to know that there was some representative of God there. I thought, I, I mean, if I die here taking care of people, so be it. I, I mean, what am I here for? To go and save myself? Uh, the priests are here to go down with the ship, the, the sinking ship that the people are on. We're not here to save ourselves. The morning of September 11th, 2001, it was actually a beautiful day. Bob would call me every morning, and he told me that a plane had hit the World Trade Center. Right before we hung up, he said, I love you. And he said, if you want to give me a call today, I'll be in the office. I don't have any plans. And I said, OK. Then I, we hung up. A second plane had hit the Trade Center. And it was that second that I knew that this wasn't an accident, that we clearly were under attack. And I immediately went to get my cell phone to try and call Bob. And the phone kept ringing and ringing and ringing, and it went to voicemail. And I did, never did hear from him again. When I saw actual images live of the Pentagon right here, you know, with a huge hole and flames, my heart sank. As time went on, I realized that I hadn't gotten confirmation yet, but I knew. I knew. Because of my faith, I've been able to carry Bob with me all these years. How do I move on without my husband, without the father of my children? And so I always tell people, no, I've I move forward. I'm moving forward. I'm not moving on. And if, in moving forward, that allows me in my heart and in my head to walk ahead in life with him by my side. Very often when we have tragedy, I learned that the, the first thing you do is to be present to people. To go down and try to make them understand that you're there, yes, in your own name, of course, but more importantly, you're there as a representative of Christ. You make Christ visible to that person at that moment. We all ask that why, because we, we, we don't understand. But if we look at the cross, do we ask why? why? Why did the only Son of God, innocent, have to suffer so much? Because it was the way we would be saved, it was the way of love. And what Jesus wants us to remember, that all of our tragedies, all of our sufferings before tragedy, can be united with His. It wasn't just me, it was just God wanted priests to be there in the midst of this awful tragedy in New York and Washington and Pennsylvania when he'd have signs that God is, um, is he's here, he's with us. And he's, of course, we know in Jesus, he, are, he suffered with us too. He's, he's, he took all this on himself on the, on the cross and put us with a plan to bring good out of it. You know, these things are all Catholic moments because we can show who we, who we are at our best in, in moments of trial and crisis. I can remember that feeling of kind of never being closer to the other people in the pew. Nothing brings people together like a bit of suffering and a bit of pain, you know, and then now we're all one in our pain. I truly believe that God is with us and He wants us to know that there is life after. There is the resurrection and He, we're there, we will be there. They're there waiting for us and He's waiting for us and has saved a place for us. I just hope that place is next to my husband. <laughs> <laughs>